I wish I had the answers to that, really. Um, it is not a good it is not a good position for banks not to have international representation. What we have been hearing is that it, it has been affecting the international part of the banks. The Belize Bank, I think, is the only local one, I believe, where Bank of America has taken away the relationships. But since then, they have established their own relationships. I know from experience that that, that you can still transfer money to and from um, outside of the Belize Bank and all the other banks. Scotia Bank, of course, is in a different position. Heritage Bank, we heard just recently that they got notice from Bank of America. Sorry, not Her it was yeah, Heritage Bank, I think, Bank of America. Um, the Chamber, we have, since this thing started, we have tried to have discussions with the President of the Banking Association. Um, we have met, we met with them we, twice. We met with the Governor of the Central Bank because really what we want to have a position or a, a good understanding of what is happening. As I mentioned on a, on a previous um, talk show, this seems to be coming, us, coming to us as surprises every so often. So really, I don't know if anybody has a direct answer. Um, hopefully, somebody would have it at some point. The Chamber is planning a, a, a mixer for this Wednesday where we are trying to have the Governor of the Central Bank and maybe some of the bank representatives speak on this. But the word de-risking that has been used, I think, is something that I'm worried about because we, if we would know what the risks are, then we would know why they're de-risking from us. Money laundering is probably one of the, um, one of the, 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 the suggestions, but really um, I'm not sure that anybody, unfortunately, has the answers to what will happen tomorrow with the, 